if you live in the southern hemisphere and draw this card and um, then we're supposed to read the keeper of the south instead for the meanings are reversed so let's go ahead and do that for those of you who are in the southern because this would be in reverse for you so if it's about um it's about abundance or prosperity in all forms expansion surging energy activity movement rapid growth be open to receiving the bounty of the universe this is a great time for medical procedures your energy will be at the maximum so okay so the meanings are reversed we don't have to reverse the card um they're already reversed in this guidebook which is really nice <laughs> so and i like and i do like how it is put in here for the southern hemisphere as well so for the spirit keeper of the south your spirit need of spirit wants you to know in the medicine world the south is a direction that symbolizes the warmth of the noonday summertime the full moon and a time of rapid growth crops grow with vigor during the summer months in the human cycle it also represents the vitality of childhood this is your time to shine it's also a time of great bounty in all areas of your life open your arms to receive gifts from the universe beautiful okay so now the, they have um directional things that you could do when you're on your journey which i tend to do a lot of so the journey and um, for the north you want to stand outdoors at night especially during the full moon face north so north is um how you see the north star you would turn that way if you have a compass you want to follow the compass on there um, most cell phones will have a compass <clears throat> so inhale the darkness well it won't be dark because this is full moon um but if you're um watching this at another time um just remember that we're in the month of Kislev, which is about the darkness so this is like perfect so inhale the darkness sink into your own depth and the stillness ancient wisdom emerges now, if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, Spirit Keeper of the South, it, for your journey, you want to stand facing South during midday. So and this would be noon. Close your eyes and feel the warmth of the sun, opening your heart center, your chakra. Absorb the sunlight as you sense yourself absorbing the abundance of the world, of the universe. So beautiful because it's about abundance. Um... And then for all of us, it's about the, you know, the things that we have to clear. So for a lot of us, it's, you know, an obstacle when we're getting ready to go to holidays and to talk with families. So just kind of remember that you're not the only one. There are other people out there as well. So yeah, the cards are beautiful. I haven't met an Oracle card that I didn't like. I do love how um, the Hawk is here the hawk um is very very um <sighs> symbolism for uh, the main thing for angel messages when you see anything with uh, wings on it is that there's messages that are coming in so uh, be aware of that when you're going into this holiday season as well as well so thank you for all my little flubs and blurbs um, yeah, I, I believe I'm going to really enjoy working with this and working with my ancestors, um, because I don't know how to get a hold of anybody who is, um, part of my lineage. So the best I can do is through daddy God. And, um, I will be bringing this for those who want to get in touch with uh, all of our natives and Aboriginal people that, they were so in one with spirit and we're all getting back to that. So I'm so excited to add that into my readings and star destiny. So thank you for joining me. Please give me a heart, uh, leave a comment and also feel free to share. I love you all. And thank you so much.